Hello, I'm Adam and welcome in a short video where I will show you how to integrate your Alexa speakers with a Home Assistant using an emulated Philips Hue bridge. This is a free way, so let's get started. First, if you want to see the documentation and any helpful tips in configuration, we can go to settings, we can go to uh, devices and uh, we can uh, add uh, one and uh, if we write the hue we can see there is an emulated hue but uh, there is no arrow pointing that we can install it but it refers to documentation page because uh, we have to add this integration using the configuration yam file so uh, i will open the documentation and generally, if you want to uh, do anything more, uh, just take a look there, for example, debugging, troubleshooting, etc. Uh, but uh, whatever, let's go back to Home Assistant. And uh, yeah, so uh, first thing, uh, we need our uh, entity ID. Uh, for example, for Salon Ambient Light, I've got, uh, I've got there a shortcut to this uh, lamp. And uh, I press the bulb and I press the settings. And as we can see, there is a entity ID, which is light.salonambient. And uh, you have to copy those names, will be needed later. And uh, okay, so we are ready to uh, go to file editor. And uh, that's uh, how it looks like. I added a emulated hue uh, keyword, which is uh, enabling everything. Uh, host IP address is uh, the IP address of Home Assistant's uh, virtual machine on, or your server or whatever. Uh, listen port, uh, I set it to 80 because it's the default port on which uh, Philips Hue Bridge is working, so it would be easily uh, detectable by Alexa app. Exposed by default, I've got set it to false because uh, I didn't want it to everything uh, pop out in Alexa because that will be mess if you would have every bulb uh, detected and uh, yeah, you don't need that because I just uh, have uh, specified entities that will be shared. So in this example, we can see the entity ID of Salon Chandelier uh, the name uh, which will be uh, described the uh, device in the Alexa app and I will be using Salon Chandelier for example to turn it off or on and uh, additionally I have specified hidden to false make sure that I'm exposing this uh, entity okay and as we can see the uh, the pattern is very simple. So now I will uh, press uh, save. As we can see now it's green. Uh, to make sure we can go to developer settings and uh, check our configuration. Everything is green so we can uh, restart our home assistant. And uh, now after the home assistant got restarted we can go to the app. Uh, and uh, as we can see my devices uh, I just only got a speakers and <laughs> printer and uh, humidifier which is uh, offline and uh, the simple uh, way to discover devices so we can just uh, say Alexa discover new devices it should take a while and we should see yeah finally it's uh, got detected and uh, yeah there we've got some ambient and yeah it's working Let's go to the home assistant and let's see. Well, it's fine. Okay, and now let's uh, do the magic. Alexa, turn off salon ambient. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. Alexa, turn on salon ambient. Okay. Alexa, turn off salon ambient. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so uh, as we can see, everything is working. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button. Bye.